M0FXB, welcome to my scanner videos. AOR, DV1, DV10, why are these appealing? Because they receive DMR, D-Star, and Fusion, plus all the HF bands and a lot more. And if you're a scanner enthusiast, air band, marine band, and all the other stuff, trunking, uh, I don't know about simulcast, but Tetra. So big thanks to Wayne for creating this software, Wayne Taylor. There is a Facebook group, which I will put on the right hand side here. Got some uh, screenshots here as well. Also, if we look here, Wayne has added some more screenshots. So it looks very nice, seems to be an integrated map. I don't know how to use this. I've got the DV10 coming, so we'll be doing some tests with this and other software. The, the editing software for the device for adding frequencies it runs from your browser, which is quite interesting that it runs that way. And this is what it looks like. And I've worked out how to open a new file, memory channel, and you choose either a template file or a memory channel file. Not sure of the difference, but I'm thinking that a template file is one that is where you've saved memories from the radio to the SD card. You don't need to connect the scanner to your PC to add files on frequencies. You can just put the SD card in. You select whether you've got the AR DV1 or DV10 in this case, then you click create. And it does give you the option to create what they call the TP file. When you do this, you don't get memory banks. So um, let me know more info. You, it does tell you here, and there's a big help section if you click help, and I'll put the link in for this as well. All the instructions are here as well for using this software. You can import files from RRUK when you, you do need to log in and subscribe and you can, there is an export link there for exporting AOR, AOR files, but the files come in the form of a multiple data create form uh, and I've created some. So I'm sort of learning as I go along. Thanks to Wayne and the, uh, the Facebook group. Um, you know, it's, uh, there's not actually much information out there about the DV1 and the DV10 scanners, which is quite surprising being they've been out several years. There are lots of videos showing uh, short clips, uh, just showing usage for a few seconds. But, um, you know, other than that, not a lot. So anyway, the, the main thing of this video is to give you the download link for the DV1 control. You just click download, gives you this file. You've got the version that came out in April. I know that Wayne is working on a new version and then you get this file here. Now, of course, I've got no, no scanner. Okay. So uh, connected, so I can't connect to it. But once I, you know, once I get a scanner, I'll be able to, and then it also says here client server. So there's software also being created as a client server, which again is interesting. Audio clients, radio clients, input device, samples and, and you know it's all brand new to me i've not learned a thing about this start server and so on so thanks for watching my channel thanks again wayne and um yeah let's learn to le learn to use these these aor dv1 dv10 all mode all band scanners 73 all the best